you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? found Peter's body there. They got him, but he left you a letter. I'm sorry. I... Uh, I have to get back to work. God knows there's plenty to do. Aaron. What, Jacob? Do you understand what I'm saying? And what do you want me to do about it? Weep for him in front of you? <clears throat> Believe me, I have plenty of sleepless nights in my future. But excuse me if I'm not going to make a spectacle of myself in front of everyone. I want to be left alone now. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost! <clears throat> Have you heard that Dr. Mac's still alive? Yeah, if I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. Huh, you're back. How was Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Was he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Alvin! What? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there, alone. No one's bothering him. 
If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet's security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes, about that. Um, do you remember that day in downtown? I do. It was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device? And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So, I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. Hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? <laughs> Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. Hell, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts tell you what to do. Just think about it. I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on it. Can he really fix it himself? Sure he can. I'm just the delivery guy. That's it. Yeah. All right. Here are the parts. What's going on? How did you deal with stuff like this before? Oh, I usually ask Jennifer, one of the scavengers, to find a replacement for whatever it was I was supposed to fix. Yeah, I know. You don't have to say anything. Oh, I've got those parts. Great. Let's get to work. And it's done. All right, that didn't seem that hard after all. Thanks for the help.
those look like fives to you? Uh, Commander's waiting for you. Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. Oh, I fucking hate living underground. But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know... I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before a machine's hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos that I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt. And I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit. Give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I can't do it. <laughs> That's the first time you've actually managed to surprise me, Rivers. And as for Mac, don't disappoint me. Dismissed. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? I really appreciate what you did for me. I won't bother you no more.
Hey, Alvin, could you keep it down? I'm working with highly sensitive instruments here. I don't want to recalibrate them every time you say, hey. Anyways, I'm busy. Come back later. 